Hey everyone, it's John with Roadkill Incorporated. Well, I seem to have done it again for better or worse. I went back up to the retro horde in the last video and I did another pickup. Uh, also got a closer look at the walleye in town too, which is quite impressive, I have to say. Um, sorry it's been a while since I've done a video, but you know, this is the channel where it's always been a while. Uh, not for long though, if I stick to my plan. From here out, I intend to post a video every Wednesday night uh, for the indefinite future. We'll see how it goes. Um, I've got to get serious about this thing if I'm going to be the next Mr. Beast, which is my plan. So anyway, this is the first one, and if I start slacking off, please give me as much crap as uh, you can about it, because I'm using sort of the public accountability uh, method to, uh, to kind of give me a kick in the butt as far as that goes. So, um, as a result of putting this demand on myself, the videos may not end up being as polished as what I've done in the past, as much as you could say my videos have ever been polished, but I've decided that just putting stuff out there is really more important than fixating on production and things like that. I really admire Lewis Rossman and how he does it, for example. You just have an idea that you've thought about during the day, you dump it out into a video and you move on to the next. And the more you practice that routine, the more you get better at delivery and you don't get stuck on polishing something and rewriting a script for weeks and then you really never deliver enough content to get momentum. Anyway, before we get started, I wanna make it very clear about one thing. Vans are much better than trucks. Trucks are just silly status symbols. 98% of truck beds are completely empty 98% of the time. If you are a serious person and you are moving large quantities of stuff around, you have a van, you do not have a truck. So um, anyway, in the last video, uh, I picked up a ton of stuff from a horde, a uh, retro horde up north, and I had a heck of a time getting it recycled, but it ended up, ended up going to Free Geek, and everything ended well, which was great. Uh, but then the guy called me back, and he had unearthed more, and so I got another van load. Uh, lots of Apple X serves, phone switches, and a really, really great little box of small stuff that you'll see later on. Um, it's funny how that goes. I've been doing this for 15 years and there's always, or not always, but often a small box sitting on top that you almost overlook and it ends up being worth 10 times the value of all the rest of it. And uh, this was definitely one of those situations. So anyway, uh, let's get to it. Here's me and my friend Steve uh, digging around and looking to see what we have. Yeah, so here we are. This is, I haven't really gone through this yet, but I'm here with my friend Steve and we're, we're just gonna kinda take a first look. And uh, yeah, these slipped again. They're very slippery things. You got four unboxed and one- One box, box. yeah, it's a crazy box. Yeah. Um, the main question I got on social media was like, are any of these Intel? Yeah. I think you asked that too. Yeah, the, the, the because the G5s can only be updated to Mac OS version 10.4. Oh, okay. Remember. A priority overnight. Someone, someone needed this quickly. Yeah. He paid for it. And then they maybe never took it out of the box? I don't know. You think it would probably be in a plastic bag or you something? I think so. I wonder if this matches the box or if it's just like. Oh, sure. Oh, it has a it has a name on it, Bruticus, Bruticus. Chat server. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, this was deployed as a chat what? server. Bruticus, yes, there we are. <laughs> oh wow, these handles are cool. Are those handles? Or are those the drives? The... Um, yeah, I think the drives. Those oh, are nice. the removable drive base. Keyboard, Apple, you know, genuine Apple keyboard cable. Yeah. On eBay, that's you know, 10 bucks. Yeah, I bought a couple of those. And yeah. Yeah, so those are those are good to have. Yep. Yeah, my too. What is that? This Friday is... <laughs> yep. This is odd. It's an Apple thing. This is the Ethernet port on the back of the Quadra 800. Ah. And the 6100. Okay. 6100. Yeah. They don't have a 10 base T port. You have to have this media adapter thing. Sure. So... Oh. Interesting. Yeah. So, do you have one of these already? Nah. Do you no. want it? You should. Have, I have one already. Do you have one? Yep. If you, if, 
<laughs> if you uh, if you have one, I'll take it. Yep. Sure. I have one. Already. Do you have a um, uh, local or Apple Talk? No. Okay. That's um, you can actually go from the serial port on a Mac 512K. Yeah. To the serial port on a power PC. Oh, okay. Mac, and get Ethernet. I mean, this is this link will be slow. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, you should take that. Yeah, in college, uh, I lived in a room with six people yep. or an apartment, and, and we did. Uh, you, you ever play marathon? Yep. We did marathon between our. Yep. And we had like a file server. Using in the room. local time. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Party. And, and the person with the fastest computer always won because <laughs> everyone else was like frozen. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. That, that game had a, required a lot of resources. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh that's I, like. I don't know that well. I have one exactly. I posted Do a you? tweet that did really well. That yeah. I, I joked like the RAM is bleeding. Yeah, out. no, like, I think you used my photo because I shared this. Oh, that was it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that was it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We got a battery here so we can. Separately. Yeah, I've got a bin. It's pretty though, I mean, look at that board. Yeah. Yeah, this one's got the video card. Heat sink or something that we didn't have in the other one. Oh yeah, so maybe that other one was missing the is this a network processor card? daughter card. The old network card? Yeah, that's a 10 base T on the back. Completely different fan configuration too. Oh, it's an Apple branded network card. The other one had like six fans in a row, these little things. Oh. But this one's got these guys. Okay, maybe this, this is different. Maybe the power supply is wider. Promise so maybe... technology. Promise. Huh. Hmm. Maybe this is an Intel one. Is it said one, one gigahertz. Oh, it did. Oh, so okay. I, I don't maybe know if Intel was that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then that would be like a maybe a first generation XServe or something like that. Um, well, the Intel ones would be like Xeons, wouldn't they? Probably. Yes, yeah. I believe so. Yeah. You ready? This is the first generation. So here's Bruticus. Bruticus is a dual G5, so we're pretty uh, happy about that. Interesting video card. Uh, and yeah. You ready? Yeah, let's All go. Right. Come on, Bruticus. Signs of life, that's good. Fans aren't blasting like, oh, here we go. Yep, whoa. PC fifty PC two fifty three hundred RAM, just like a white MacBook. All right. Oh, it's starting on some. The <laughs> <laughs> fans have a lot of them. I think it's got the post lights here. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're all on. Cool. Ooh, the alert button. Yeah, I see it flashing. Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard these drives have a bit of a reputation. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't expect the Death Star to be functional. <laughs> okay, so we got more of these. I don't know if you want any of these. If you want them, you're welcome to. Otherwise, I'll just use them for art stuff. <laughs> Do you want an EMAC? Um, I don't know. <laughs> These are. I, so I could tell that one was the one on top is an Intel because it has dual drives in the front. Okay, yeah, it's got the dual DVI. 
That's cool. Do you need one of those? Um... Yeah, so we got this box here. I haven't gone through it, but it looks intriguing. Whew, out of breath. Oh, is that in there? Quick take? Oh my God. That's the first camera. It's the first... Uh, yeah, the first Apple digital camera. Yeah. Those are very cool. Should, yeah. I, should I open it? Sure, go for it. Wow. Yeah, it's in there. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good score, John. And then a power brick for a... Um, Oh, this Apple Low Power AC adapter? Maybe this is for the camera. I don't know. That looks like a power book. It looks exactly like a power book charger, but yeah. the marking is different. So. And it's gray. Well, I guess the thing is gray. Wow. Very cool. Quick take. Yeah. yeah. iMic <laughs> before that was integrated, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, I remember these. Do you know what these is are? A, is it a. It's like a U USB button. For, and you, like it, if you're doing like um like uh, Final Cut Pro or something, oh, you assign dog shuttle wheel to edit audio and video. Yeah, you assign it to like your most common function, huh. and then instead of like having to use the mouse to go find it, you uh, you just sit there and turn it. It looks really nice. And it glows, and it's a very pleasant, aesthetically feeling yeah. thing. New, new, it looks like it's never been opened. Yeah, those are like PSA. Uh, ooh, got an iPod. Oh yeah. Need an iPod? <laughs> 2001. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you probably won't tweet about that. <laughs> well, why not? Yeah. All publicity is good publicity, right? Yeah. Ooh, iBook battery. Oh. 12-inch battery. Nice new battery. Yeah. Looks like uh, totally unused. Sweet. Okay. Uh, iPod and iTunes. So. Holy crap. Oh, classic iPod. Oh my gosh. Very cool. That's first gen. Is it? That's first gen. First gen. With the, the FireWire only. Yeah, the wheel yeah, The wheel moves. Cool. First gen, the wheel moves, and there's no cover on the FireWire port. Neat. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Definitely some... These are worth a couple hundred each. Oh, are they now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want one? Take one. You sure? Yeah. Oh, that'd be sweet. Thank you, John. Yeah, I, I, I have one or two, so uh -huh. it's not, not too much of an issue. Anyway, so that's most of it. Uh, but there were a bunch of old phone switches and other stuff. Phone switches are interesting because people just throw them out, but then other people who have 40-year-old phone systems will do anything to not have to spend half a million on replacing their whole phone system. So in a lot of cases, they'll spend thousands on outdated cards for these things to keep their current system going. So a lot of the time, these things are full of cards that are worth real money. But then again, some of them are also worth nothing. So it's a niche area that you have to know what you're doing. And not really my thing. Um, but hey, it looks pretty cool sitting here like this. Uh, got some Emacs too. And it's funny because I've been offered Emacs, but this is the first time I've, I've taken some. And they're actually kind of cool. They're very solid, very well built and heavy. I, I think I like them. The E stands for education. And they were really only sold to schools. I don't think you could walk into an Apple store and buy one or anything like that. And um, then there was this strange, I don't even know what this is, some label printing gizmo. I'm not even going to try to figure that out. And I think that's about it, really. Oh, wait, here's a few hundred um, white unibody MacBooks that came in. Not part of the same pickup, but it's always fun to see these. Uh, they were on a pallet that was lifted into my van by forklift, and it, I don't have a forklift to get them out. So I literally had to cut my way into the Gaylord box when it was in the van to get them out. So that was fun. And uh, yeah, I think that's really about it. Nothing more to say. No real moral of the story to leave you with on this one. Just happy retro hunting, I guess. Keep saving the electronics from landfills as much as you can, and I'll talk to you again next week.